Welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm really excited to introduce you to ClickUp AI today. Well, I know what you might think. Oh, another AI implementation into another productivity tool, as we have seen it so many times. But there is a twist. ClickUp made a different integration of AI. What you probably know about is the typical thing, write me a blog post about this and this, where you always could go to ChatGPT and ask the same to create. That's why we always look out for AI implementation that actually leverage the tool Tool, like you have in mem.ai, our preference personal knowledge management system that actually leverages your existing knowledge base and gives you answers based on a knowledge base. If ClickUp is capable of this, we will find out in this video. So without further ado, let's dive into this. All right, here we are in ClickUp in the demo space that I have here. And here's a task with a subtask. So first of all, we don't see any AI appearing here. Also, when I select this, there is no AI appearing. Although I would love to see something like this coming up here where I can ask AI then what is this task all about? There could be several subtasks and maybe all the conversations. That's a miniature knowledge base that we have in a task. It's a single source of truth based on a task that AI could actually do leverage in order to give me answers to this. That's something we don't see yet. Maybe they implement it in the future. It would be awesome. However, they have some great implementations of the AI already. So when we go into the task and you have a conversation going on here, usually on tasks, there's a lot of back and forth and several threads opening. This, for example, is a thread. You see this, that there are two replies. When I click on this, now I'm inside the thread and you have the option with AI it appears here to click and you can summarize the thread and it immediately gives me the answer what this thread is all about. This is really useful. It goes into the direction what I just mentioned about summarizing the task and the subtasks and the overall discussions in there. Here we see now the summary of this individual thread. And this is already very useful, especially if there is a long back and forth and you come in as a new team member to this task, this is really helpful. And then you can even say, what are the action items? So you can work on this summary and then it says there are no specific action items mentioned in the conversation. So let's see if this works. If I add an action item, so now I just wrote, don't forget to add AI to the other space. I send it and now we have the updated thread here. Now let's see if we click here, it summarizes the thread again and there we go. And then here, Tom then reminds the other person to add AI to another space. So, what are the, and there we go. The action lights in, the, in this conversation are, Tom reminds the other person to add AI to another space. So now it works. If there are real people going back and forth, so you get much better summaries there as well. But that's not all you can do with AI. So you see already use AI tools when I go over to the description part of the task. So when I click on use AI tools, it brings up this list of pre-made prompts that you can send to ClickUp AI. And here you can select the department you're working in. So depending on what you pick here, for example, email, it gives you a different set of prompts. And the amazing thing is, that when I say, for example, write promotional email, that it gives you other questions or paragraphs that you need to fill out in order to give AI what it needed to work with. So this is really useful. I know you can do all this in ChatGPT directly. However, not everybody is as tech savvy and wants to learn prompting and so on. So this is why I really like the click up here, extracted the prompts and made these separate fields to make it easy for anybody in the team to access AI and leverage AI. And this is really a step that I really like. And it gives you the guidance that you really need in order to use AI in a proper way without learning about prompts. This is amazing. Another way to access AI is just to hit command full stop and it opens this up and you have something similar here. You can now select a department. I can go to HR, create job listing. And there you go. You have the responsibilities, qualifications, competitive advantages, job title. So everything is pre-made for you. You fill this out. And then let's just say something more easy, email, write an email, course, right? That's something you usually do manually in ChatGPT to add the tone of voice, for example, and say, let's sound this professional. And then the creativity is how wide AI can go with writing this content. So let's go high and generate something. But here you can select it easily. It will create something for you. Obviously we didn't even mention what 
course launch this is all about, if you provide the context, then, then this would be a lot more specific. But for our demo purposes, this would work. That works perfectly because what I want to show you the moment it has written this, you have now the option to either create a task out of this or create a doc out of this. Let's create a task out of this. See, now it created a task. You can select the list this task should be added to. And then you can give it a task name, email campaign, all right? And that's it. And now I can create a task and I can click on the task in order to directly open it. And there we go. Now we have a task created with all these here. So now you see when I hit slash AI appears again. So I say continue writing and it would just keep writing or rewriting the email here. Or I just say write with AI and now I could give it another prompt out of this. I summarize the email. And there we go, it summarizes this email. But now let's create a doc, very easily done. So let's do this with a test doc, open this doc. And then here, I just want to show you, you can start with a blank page, but you also can start creating using AI, okay? So if I go to popular, I can say table with data, and then I say list, list 10 best productivity tool for grocery listing. I don't know. And say generate and now you see it creates this table and brings up Evernote. I know some people use Evernote for grocery listing. Now you can even create a process SOP. So let's say create a YouTube video and then I could give more context obviously. But AI not taking for granted what it provides but gives you some inspiration, a starting point how to get started. So it's like this blank paper and you don't know how to start, it always gives me a spark to start with something. And here we go. Now we have already some inspiration how a YouTube video could be created or at least how a SOP should be structured in order to explain easily to your team members how to create the YouTube videos in this case. So that's all I wanted to show you about ClickUp AI. I would love if AI would appear here in the command bar. I really hope they will add this over time so I can start asking AI in here anything and it will provide me contextual answers like Mem does with your knowledge base already. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about ClickUp AI? Is it too limited? What other features you would like to see? Are you using it already? And if you don't know anything about ClickUp and you want to get started, make sure to join the Paperless Movement membership. In there, we have a 30% discount for ClickUp and also deep dives where I show in detail how we use ClickUp at the Paperless Movement as our single source of truth. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time. Next time.